Ricky Damani here. It is Monday afternoon. I was going to uh, start earlier, but my sister came over this morning and I haven't seen her for a while. Uh, so we sat and had coffee for about three, three and a half hours today. Um, so I'm getting ready to, uh, well, I haven't eaten uh, breakfast. It is going on 1230. I had some pork rinds. Uh, so I'm, I'm probably not going to eat a real meal until dinner time, which for us is 3.30. Uh, no, earlier than that. 3 o'clock, sorry. <laughs> yes, we eat dinner very early around here. Um, so I did have a few pork rinds, just enough to get out of the container that I could get the lid closed, so that's what I ate today. Uh, uh, so I'm getting ready to make my... Uh, vinegar drink. Uh, so Christy, this one is for you. I'm going to show you how I make mine. And Christy was also my uh, Christmas in July fairies winner. So I'm going to make my drink now. Uh, I forgot that I made some yesterday. I made all four bottles and my uh, bottle that I take outside. So I only have one bottle empty. So I'm going to go ahead and make it and I will show it to you. Okay. So I've done this before, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Uh, here is the bottle that I use, one of the bottles, I use four of them, all different colors. Okay, so the first thing I do is put in my, uh, excuse me, my water enhancer. Okay, and then I've got pink salt, I do a quarter teaspoon of pink salt, a heaping quarter, okay, and then a quarter heaping teaspoon of no salt, which is just potassium, okay, and then I do, I'll just shake this up, Two tablespoons. I don't usually, usually when it's this full, because I'm just now opening it, I'll put it in a glass first. But since I've only got the one bottle, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. Two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar. And I usually get the Bragg's or the Vitacost brand, but lately the Bragg's is cheaper than the Vitacost brand, so I just get that. Two tablespoons of that. One tablespoon of the uh, coconut secret coconut vinegar. I get this brand in particular because I don't like the taste of the other brand that I tried. It was nasty. So I do one tablespoon of this. Okay. And then one tablespoon of the organic lemon juice. I get this from Vitacost. Okay, then I just fill the rest of it with water. We've got uh, filtered water in the in the tap. So that is my drink, and I usually try to drink at least two of these a day. And I absolutely love this. It's like, a, it's very, very refreshing. Um, I think this is the reason why my cholesterol isn't uh, outrageous <laughs> like it used to be. I've been drinking this probably for about three or four years now straight. Every single day I have at least one bottle. Uh, but I always try to get two bottles if I can. Sometimes I even get three or four bottles. just depends. Uh, like if I'm sitting outside and it's really hot, I'll go through more. So, uh, yeah, this is my electrolyte drink, and I just got to fill it with water. And then uh, when I'm getting ready to go outside, I fill my little uh, rose-decorated thermos with ice cubes and then pour this in there, and that's my drink. So when I'm not drinking this or coffee, then I'm drinking fizzy water seltzer water, whatever, unflavored, uh, or um, rather unsweetened. Uh, so that's it. Hope this helps, Christy. 
So this is going to be my dinner, my usual, which I hasn't been usual for the last week. I've been having different stuff. <laughs> but tonight I want some of this. So it's my, uh, my Portofino yellowfin tuna. And I'm going to put the can down for the dog. She likes to lick the can. I'm going to put in some lemon juice. A little more. I don't want too much of that. And then I've got half a cup, half an avocado from the weekend. Looks perfect. I, uh, when I put the other half in here, I always put a little bit of lemon juice and water in there. There goes a pit. Don't need the dog getting that. Because she would probably try to eat it too. I wouldn't put faster. Okay. And then in will go my avocado. I don't have a, you know, a fancy avocado thing, scoopy thing. Let's see how many more gross noises I can make here with the avocado. Okay. And I don't have any more of my, uh, my all-purpose seasoning, so I'll have to just use some other stuff. So, that's going to be dinner. Alrighty then. Be back in a bit. Okay, so, I have uh, one finished object right now. Uh, the other one is downstairs, and I also have a whip downstairs. So I'll have to show that a little bit later. Uh, but... If you remember, I got in the Annie's Attic uh, Hook and Needle Kit Club, uh, it was the baskets, and so I was following the pattern for the large basket and I still had one round left to go and I ran out of the color that I was using. So, so this isn't right and it didn't look right, it looked, uh, I don't know, I guess it looked too big and it wasn't deep enough. It was way too shallow. I'm like, this doesn't look anything like the picture. So I ended up just doing my own thing. And I kept thinking about what I was going to do while I was working on it. Okay, I'll use the, the red that was supposed to be for the little basket. And I'll do this, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I ended up combining all of them into one project. And I made myself a project bag. So this came from the, the yarns came from the Annie's Attic Hook and Needle Kit Club, my bag. And I have yarn in there. So I'm not going to show the project that I'm working on right now. Uh, not the one up here anyway. I want to wait until I'm actually finished with it. But I will show you, these are the yarns that I'm using for it. I absolutely love these. These come from, you know, the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, these Just Yarn. Absolutely love them. So, that is my finished object that I have up here. Uh, I've got my, uh, my wrap whip up here, but I showed that a few days ago. And uh, so this is how much yarn I have left. And uh, I had, somebody had asked me about the colors, a couple people I think asked me about the colors in this yarn. So there's like pink and green, and I thought it was a dark blue, but it's actually a purple. I don't know if you can see that, that's, that's purple. So yeah, that's, that's the object that I'm working on up here. And okay, here's, here's that color. I don't know, it kind of looks like it could be a dark blue. I don't know. Purple, dark blue, it looks more purple, depending on the way you look at it. So that's, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Uh, and I'll show my finished object 
my other finished object when I get downstairs. So anyway, that is it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go and I will check back in a little bit. Have a great day. Okay, so I am downstairs for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to go back upstairs here in a few. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show the whip that I have down here and the finished object. So, <laughs> it's just a little itty bitty thing, little itty bitty bear that I made. Not real itty bitty because my hands can't handle itty bitty. <laughs> but this is a little bear I made uh, Saturday morning. Yeah, Saturday, or no, I made this, started on it Saturday night late Saturday night and finished it yesterday and then uh no that was the other one. I'm sorry <laughs> I started it late Friday night and finished it Saturday afternoon and then Saturday night I made the basket or the the bag <laughs> so I did actually did two uh two object two finished objects in one day so this is my little bear <laughs> cute and then uh, my whip that I have going on down here uh, I watched uh, Pamela at Pamela's Adoring Crochet uh, her tutorial on the uh, the hack stitch which was a stitch created by Ryan at uh, the yarn had, yarn had Ryan uh, so that is what this is it's gonna be a scarf And I am using uh, this yarn that a friend of mine from school gave me. Uh, it is uh, Loops and Thread Soft and Shiny. And I've got two rolls of that that I'm going to use for this. So I don't, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do uh, tassels or not. I don't usually, I, I don't usually like to fool with tassels, but yeah. This is the hag stitch. So that is it for the whip and the finished object that I have down here. I might have a finished object later on today. I'm not sure. If not, it will probably be tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go and I will check back in in a little bit. So I am just going to close out this video with this picture. This is the finished object of the yarns that I showed earlier in the video. So this is what I've been working on all day. And I really like it. So I'm going to close this out. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.